what is going on good muscle people so i really wanted to make a video for all you guys kind of um out of appreciation and out of just uh like you guys deserve to have you know full-on life slash good muscle update so i am um, sitting down real quick on the iphone to let you guys in a little bit because i've you know i've just been super busy and i just haven't posted anything or let anybody in on what's going on so i wanted to make this video for everybody so i got my list in front of me so i don't ramble okay so um for the people for all you guys that have supported me for all you guys that have supported good muscle and what it stands for thank you so much i appreciate you um I'm gonna answer the two main questions right off the bat. Um, yes, <clears throat> I am moving. I am moving to Kansas City. I have been blessed with the opportunity to be a part of a lifetime fitness team in Overland Park as a personal trainer. Um, I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm scared. Um, but really excited to, um, you know, not only go somewhere different, but to be a part of a bigger place, if that makes sense, and to learn more. Um, if you guys have, you know, been following me for a while, you guys know I'm, I'm all about learning more. I'm all about, you know, continuing my education. And there's a lot more that I'll learn there, not only training wise, <clears throat> but you know, business wise, as far as like selling personal training, you know, selling um, my brand. And uh, yeah, there's a lot that I'll learn, um, not just training wise, but business wise. And uh, um, I'm excited for that. Um, second question Am I still going to be doing good muscle? Of course I am, yes. And I hope that with this move and with more people and more networking and, you know, the help professional and business-wise from Lifetime, I hope to take good muscle where I've always wanted it to go, which is obviously bigger and better if I can get better. But yes, I will still be doing good muscle. Um, yes. <laughs> simple answer before I ramble on yes I am still doing good muscle for sure um so real quick I kind of want to you know I think there's like a, a kind of up in the air of like what happened to good muscle and so I just really quick without rambling too long kind of want to explain like what's happened so when everything first started like in the beginning it all started with good muscle, you know, even before I became like a certified personal trainer or anything, it was always like good muscle, um, taking care of yourself, being fit, being healthy, you know, making not only going to the gym and working out, but, you know, making choices for your own happiness and, uh, you know, doing things that others might think you're crazy for, but are vital for your happiness and your longevity. And, uh, that's where it started and um i remember when i was flipping hamburgers at jay's carry out and like my my dream like my my goal was i want to personal train like one-on-one -on -one personal train full-time like that's what i want to do and i was like man like it's gonna take you know who knows how long it'll take but like eventually like i'll get there so that was like the end goal way back then fast forward you know i got a job at emporia fitness like you know most of you know and I, I think a lot of you don't know still that I'm I'm no longer like an employee um, I train full-time now but uh, so <laughs> before I get off track here so I got the job I worked behind the desk I started with you know two clients for a while <clears throat> um, it took me honestly like a year to like kind of get things rolling and you know I was doing the YouTube channel I was doing good muscle I was dropping merch but I had the time, you know, to put to put effort into editing videos for YouTube and to like 
go to Navrats and like make an order and get the design ready. Like I had the time to put aside to go do that. And leading into the beginning of this year, as I became a better trainer, as I continued my education, if you guys weren't following me back then, you know that like I, I got a nutrition specialist certification. I got a strength and conditioning certification, which took me a chunk of time. I also went to a seminar in Florida. Um, so, uh, oh, where was I going with this? I'm off track already. Um, so at the beginning of the year, like everything kind of came together as far as like being a better trainer, be, having more experience, learning new things, and being able to retain clients, which was a big thing. So the beginning of 2019 was when things really started to like pick up for me. And um, I think there was kind of a, a, a moment where I had to self-reflect and say, you know, like kind of reflect on things as far as like what I wanted to do with good muscle and where I wanted to go next and continued education was a big thing for me like I I wanted to learn more I wanted to be a better trainer because ultimately like the goal was to train to personal train one-on-one full-time and so I knew like I had to be educated I had to have more experience I had to train more and so you know I, I took the time and I did that and leading into 2019 I started training a lot more from like 5 a.m. till 7 and then I'd work out real quick. I'd take a shower, I'd clock in at the gym, I'd work 10 to 3, I'd clock out, I'd train from 3 to like 7 or 8 and I rolled with that till April or till like mid-March and I, my, everything just caught up to me and I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep up with the you know, the the clocking in at the gym. And so I, you know, put in my two weeks and I thought, you know, okay, I'm gonna have this chunk of time. I'm gonna be able to get back on the YouTube. I'm gonna be able to get more merchandise going on. And once I wasn't working at the gym anymore, like I filled up that whole piece of time with clients, which is great. Like, it's what I wanted to do. And now I've, you know, I've got a lot more experience training one-on-one, but Good Muscle had to kind of take a back seat as far as like the brand itself. And so that's what's been going on lately. I've just been training so much, continuing my education, going to seminars and stuff like that, because I wanted to be a better trainer slash coach, if you will. Um, <clears throat> and another thing was honestly, like during the self-reflecting that I, that I had to do, I... And I think it kind of was hard for me to, you know, take a step back because I had jumped full on, you know, into the YouTube, Facebook page, good Instagram, like all the social media stuff. I like jumped full on and I, I don't think I was ready for that. And I don't think being like an influencer and like a YouTuber specifically is what I want to do, what I want to do what I wanted to do, what I want to do now. Just because I just, I, it's just not who I am. And I think it was hard for me to kind of stomach that and swallow that because I had started out, you know, so 100% into that. And I found out that I kind of hate having a camera in my face and I hate taking pictures for Instagram and stuff like that. And so I had to reevaluate and kind of figure out like, okay, so I'm, I'm sure you guys have noticed like a, a little bit of a change as far as what I post on Instagram and, and uh, yeah, so I want to be real and I want to be authentic and I don't want to have to do things that I don't want to do because that's just not how my brand is going to be successful. So yes, Good Muscle has taken a, you know, kind of been set aside but I'm like I I still represent good muscle when I train I'm sure you guys have seen you know I wear my shirts and my polos and stuff like that but you know that's what I think has to happen if you start anything um there's growth there's change you have to you know kind of flow with it and you don't have you don't whatever you do don't set these walls up and and try and do things that you don't want to do because it's just not how you grow and and, uh, and develop. So uh, 
I will still be doing good muscle and I definitely still want to put content on YouTube and stuff like that, but it may be a little bit different as far as like vlogs and stuff like that. I'm sure I'll be doing stuff since I'll be in Kansas City. There'd be a little bit more exciting life up there. So maybe the vlogs would be a lot cooler than me like sitting at home and stuff. <coughs> but um, yeah, I definitely want to give you guys more value. So like as far as exercising goes. So if you guys aren't into like learning more exercise stuff, then I'm sorry. Because that's probably where I'll be going with content as far as like how to execute things correctly, um, how to save time and how to be efficient in the gym and stuff like that. So that's like where content will probably go. Um, I will do merch. Um, I definitely want to settle into the job and moving out of Emporia, which I've never done. So let me kind of settle in and then next year, maybe summertime, I definitely want to do merch again for you guys. But I just wanted to make this video and let you guys know that yes, Good Muscle is still on. I definitely want to even take it to another level, but it'll be a little bit different than you know what's on the YouTube already and stuff like that. And uh, that's just growth and development. And I think if there's anything you can take away besides this life update, you know, don't be afraid to self-reflect and, and understand that you know you don't want to do that or you don't want to be a part of something anymore or you don't want to you know be an influencer that's totally cool like i want to be the best trainer that i can be and i really enjoy training people one-on-one -on -one. and i really don't like having a camera in my face and so you know i need to learn more and go to seminars and learn how to be a better coach and how to be a better trainer and train people face to face and then you know i'll i'll make content with more value that has to do with like gym and exercise and stuff like that because that's what i really want to do so yes there it is life update um the reason i never made a post or anything about me like not working at the gym and training full time is because this is you know the beginning and i think me going to lifetime in kansas city is just the beginning and I just, I, I didn't want a recognition post. So I didn't want to be like, hey guys, I went full time, blah, blah, blah. And have people be like, oh, congratulations. And like, I just didn't want a recognition post because for me, like I'm super happy and blessed to be in the situation and have everything happen the way it has. But I feel like it's the very beginning. And so I just didn't post anything about it. And I haven't, I've been pretty quiet about everything that's gone on so far just because you know, especially with the interview, I just didn't want to be like, oh my gosh, you know, I might get this job and then like not get the job. So I just, I was kind of hush hush about it. And, but now like it's legit, like we're moving tomorrow. So, um, yeah, there it is. Um, thank you all for supporting me and being a part of Good Muscle. And I hope that in the future, you guys can continue to follow and get value out of out of the brand and and from me and um yeah thank you for everything and i appreciate you guys very much um peace wish me luck <laughs>